Thank you for taking some time to review the changes we have made to our waste program. My name is Alexandra Tudos. I am the manager of energy and environmental sustainability. And over the next 10 slides, I will take you through what those changes are. Before we talk about the changes, let's talk a little bit about the history of the program. In 2018, a staff decided to add the organics only stream, as well as switch to single stream recycling, but looked at reducing the amount of garbage cans. In 2019, uh, staff decided to go back to the schools and to the different buildings and receive feedback on the program. And what we heard from you was a strong desire to separate the cardboard and the paper from the single stream recycling. We also heard that the single stream recycling was contaminated, but also that there needed to be uh, more communication and resources produced to help the users determine exactly what goes into the different waste streams. Based on that feedback, we have made some changes to the program, but we also set a goal for the program of an 85% clean diversion rate. And we're hoping to achieve that target by the year 2024. So let's pause for a moment and review the definition of a diversion rate. Diversion rate means that we are hoping to divert 85% of our waste from the landfill and into recycling or organics, and that only 15% of our waste should go into the landfill. So over the next few slides, I will take you through what the changes to the program are. And a call to action for everybody is to work together to reach the target of an 85% clean diversion rate. The first change to the program, we have a new waste hauler. Green for Life Environmental was a successful proponent of our request for proposal process. They have a good reputation in the industry. They can provide us with site tours of their facilities. Um, and that is because they own and operate their own facilities. So we are excited to work with them over the next three years. The second major change to the program is um, separating the cardboard and creating a cardboard only stream. As I mentioned before, this was based on your feedback. And also um, we went to the haulers and asked for a paper stream uh, solution as well. What we heard from them is that cardboard can be successfully separated into its own stream because it is a valuable commodity in the industry. However, paper isn't. What they suggested we do is based on their experience is that paper can be successfully recycled if we focus on cleaning out our single stream recycling. In terms of handling the cardboard in your classroom, staff will be responsible for flattening and removing the cardboard from their classroom into the designated cardboard location uh, bin. And those will be the black toters that are currently in the hallways in your schools. Let's spend a moment and review the roles and responsibilities um, of the different groups. Principals will be your first point of contact. They will provide you with the resources of the program, which will be the brochure and the posters and the video that you're watching now. They will also share diversion reports with you on a monthly basis. And that is to ensure that we know uh, and keep track of how we are doing along meeting our 85% uh, reduction diversion goal. Teachers uh, will be responsible for flattening and taking the cardboard to the cardboard bin um, that was produced in their classroom. Um, we also recommend that they spend some time setting up the three uh, waste stations um, as a uh, together as a station with all of all of the three together. Um, and later in the presentation, I will show you a best practices example of how to do that. And also, and most importantly, uh, spending some time to educate students on how to properly use the system. Custodians will be responsible for picking up the waste from the streams and taking it to the herbicide bins. And our hauler will be responsible for taking that waste and depositing it at their own facilities. They will also be responsible for producing 
uh, the diversion reports. Uh, they can also provide us with site tours and with education opportunities. I will be continuously monitoring the program and um, supporting all of the users, making changes where appropriate. So please feel free to reach out to me with any suggestions or any comments that you have. I will share my contact information at the end um, of this presentation. In terms of setting up the stations in your classroom, uh, what we suggest and recommend that you do is um, take the three bins and put them together, as you see in this picture. Um, this is the same model that we will be reproducing in the hallways. And also the poster should go above the, um, the correct bin. This, we believe, will give the users the best chance to not only learn what goes into the different streams, but also make the right uh, choice in terms of disposing of their waste. In terms of resources that we produced, uh, we have created a brochure that describes exactly what goes into the different waste streams and also posters. The posters um, will be sent to you electronically as well as the brochure. Um, however, posters will also be printed for you so that you could um, very quickly set up your stations in the classroom. Let's spend a moment here and review the recycling poster specifically. What we heard from you is that the single stream recycling was contaminated. So let's spend a little bit of time learning what is acceptable in the single stream recycling. So we have paper, clean plastic, clean polycoat. Polycoat are, is the material that make up the soup containers and juice containers, clean metal, such as aluminum foil, tin cans, and clean glass. So emphasis here on cleaning those four items. Please do not put cardboard in the single stream recycling. Please take the cardboard to the nearest designated cardboard location. Also not accepted in the single stream recycling are soft plastics, such as paper bags and zipper locking bags, and also no food. So let's spend a little bit more time defining what clean recycling really means. So in talking to our hauler, we heard that what is required of us as users is to empty the recyclable containers of any leftover food. So this is the most important first step that we can all take. What they recommend that we do is that we wash the container as well before placing it in the bin. However, they are aware that sometimes that is not possible in the school setting. There are also a few SD42 managed programs, such as hazardous uh, materials, electronics, and sharps. Please send a work order request to dispose of hazardous materials and sharps and contact your IT de uh, department for electronics. So in terms of wrapping up the video, um, the core messages uh, of this video and of the program are that we need to really work together to reach the target of an 85% clean diversion rate by the year 2024. We made some changes to the program based on your feedback. We added a cardboard only stream and we're focusing and spending more time on really defining what clean recycling means. In terms of a call to action and next steps, we're hoping that you can spend some time to review the information package that will be sent to you either from the principal or myself. Please uh, take some time to send me your feedback. Uh, we will also be producing a highlight of the month, um, one page information sheet with any hot button topics that we know have caused some issues with, for example, the single stream recycling. If you have any suggestions for those types of topics, please um, email me or call me. And for teachers, uh, we are hoping that you can spend some time to set up your classroom stations and educate students on how to properly manage the waste in the classroom and in the hallways. Thank you so much again for taking the time to review this information. Uh, here is my contact information. 
my coworker, John Hare, he's our manager of operations, and he will be handling any issues with the curbside bins, with our contract with the waste hauler and our custodian staff. So please feel free to reach out to either of us and we're more than happy to help you and support you through this program. Thank you again and have a great rest of the day.